today from U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. This is the National Football League. the kicker Harrison Butker ready to get this one started and we are underway from downtown Minneapolis and he opts to not bring this one out the first drive will start at the 25 and they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And getting this chest shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. He'll get 15 and a Vikings first down. It was just third down and short, but he bit off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way. And that, to me, that was a combination of offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it. Okay, they got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, there's room to roam. Yeah, that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out. They did. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Cousins gives way to Cook, and he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Thanks to Frank Clark, that play was doomed from the start. What a job defensively. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs will take over here at their own 12-yard line. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank you. But here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air, polluting the pressure. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. And Daniil Hunter, he's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. Didn't have the greatest field position to start, did they? And now after this sack, it's way, way worse. And right off the bat, first play of the game. Mahomes throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. That'll go as a pickup of eight. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Thank you. 
On first down, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. And he comes back with one complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Flushed out right. And Mahomes picking up the first as he slides and hits the deck. A good pick up there, a 22. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man covers were so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. Mahomes now to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. On second and goal, Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. Toward the pylon caught, and in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Well, the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, Everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Here's Cook again. 
And he'll get this up to about the 40. The credit the tackle to Juan Thornhill. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. And he's got this to Jefferson. A gain there of 21 yards. Brandon, what's even more impressive is that came against double coverage. He gashed them with that reception, even with the extra focus that he drew from the defense. Meanwhile, Cousins' throw pulled in by Jefferson. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. First down, here's Cousins. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep him off the scoreboard here. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Cousins. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Touchdown, Vikings. Kirk Cousins on the connection to Justin Jefferson. And the Vikings are an extra point away from drawing level. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Joseph connects on the extra point, And we are tied at seven. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Now here's Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. They exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball. Then that one was picked off. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there 
as he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. 25 yards that time. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. So a touchdown. All right, so we skip the rest of halftime and get set for the third quarter. for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And they'll work this down inside the 30. It's taken a while for this offense to get going, a little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Mahomes to throw once more, sliding out of the pocket. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Now, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Rolling to his right. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he could make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. And this one is no good. He missed it. And we will remain tied here in this third quarter. Well, listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Again, it's Cook. He'll take this to the 46. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. They'll try to throw now. Cousins complete. Jefferson the target. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 32-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. 
from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. They'll try the middle with Cook. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Play action now. Cousins. His throw incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. To throw, Cousins. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Back to the ground, Cook. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So the scoring dried up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On oh, second down, it's Cook again. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The Vikings on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time, and this ball is caught by Irv Smith. Touchdown, Vikings. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. From 13 yards out. And the Vikings have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Joseph on for the extra point. And it's no good. Well, that could be a critical miss here in a one-score game in the fourth. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And now here comes Kansas City. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll buy some time right, and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Mahomes going to throw. They'll roll him out right. A pass complete downfield. It's Valdez Scantling. And he goes diving to get as much as he can following a big gain. A nice little cherry on top there at the end. A big play there on the catch and run. 64 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. Edwards Alaire will take this one in. It's a Chiefs touchdown. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. All square now at 13 all as he sends this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. 
There's a glimpse of Justin Jefferson, the wide receiver, as he and the Minnesota Vikings return back here on offense. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. Cousins able to find Jefferson here complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. They drive some people crazy see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Second and two. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And the question now, can they get closer on third down? A field goal from here, you're looking at right about a 52-yarder. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 24-yard line. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. Now Cousins. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. Here's Cousins. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Well, any thoughts about overtime have ended at this juncture. That touchdown puts them up six. I would imagine they'll kick the extra point now and rely on their defense. Yeah, rely on their defense. So a little bit of time left on the clock here in the fourth, but they got to feel good now. Joseph now to have the PAT. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's capped off by the late touchdown. It's a seven-point lead here in the final minute of the game. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Mahomes will throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get the midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. Mahomes rolling to his right. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. 
a fun close ball game comes to an end on that last play Charles they were on the wrong side of midfield they needed something near a miracle and they couldn't get it done yeah the effort that was good very good in fact they were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity couldn't get it done but a nice game overall